People come to the White Nights from all over the world. You know, when an artist writes in the program that they've played at the stars of the White Nights Festival, it's already some guarantee of quality, I'd say. Some kind of brand. I don't like that word, but it's true. I have wonderful memories of packed halls, with people from all over the world in this fantastic place, in this fantastic venue. I can say a few words about the venue itself. Apart from the magical acoustics that Mr. Toyota has created, from the very first concerts, this hall gave off a sense that there was already a sanctified atmosphere here. You know, there is a huge number of halls with stunning acoustics. Yes, everything sounds stunning, but you don't get that sense of history that you get at Musik Verein, Concertgebouw, Carnegie Hall, the Grand Hall of the Conservatoire, or the Grand Hall of the Petersburg Philharmonia. But here, even though it's so new, there is the sense that many, many fantastic performers have already played here. And many fantastic performers have already played here. But you get the sense that this venue is many years old. And again, that's thanks to the maestro. This is a genuinely romantic orchestra. They play with such a personal relationship to each note. I adore rehearsals with Gergiev and his orchestra, because you become a direct participant in a process. Some kind of instantaneous, unplanned moments arise. He told me once that if we repeat what happened in rehearsals at a concert, that's how we kill the music. I really agree with him about that. Because what's the buzz of performing on stage? It's those moments when you start doing something, thinking on your feet, not on purpose, but naturally. And the maestro, who's standing to my left, already knows two steps ahead of me what I'm thinking. That's truly unique. That sort of accompaniment I wouldn't even call an accompaniment. It's absolutely separate symphonic works in the guise of an accompaniment. Even Liszt's concerto, where the accompaniment is nothing special. It's no Rachmaninoff third concerto. On the other hand, he makes of it some kind of symphonic poem. You know, for me it's such a pleasure. Personalities like Gergiev are so rare these days. We're very lucky. Russia, Petersburg, the world even, that there are people like Gergiev. I'm a lucky man. I thank fate that it's brought me together with him, and I remember every concert with him. I remember every note, absolutely. And the recording of the two Rachmaninoff concertos that we did in February was a real event for me personally. Because I waited on purpose. I didn't record Rachmaninoff's concertos. I recorded a lot of things, but with Rachmaninoff's concertos I waited. Clearly someone was telling me, don't record the third, nor Rhapsody on a theme by Paganini. And then it happened. We recorded them for a new label that will be launched soon, Marinka Live. It's a wonderful beginning. Because to play concerts or record in this venue is, it turns out, an enormous pleasure. And even more so with such fantastic company.